starting by applying my foundation from BH Cosmetics in Nude. Oh, sorry, it's an ivory, 201. I'm just using a macaron shaped sponge that I picked up from Riley Rose. I really enjoy shopping at Riley Rose because it's cheaper than Sephora, cheaper than Sephora, um, and they have a lot more beauty products that are in a range that are exclusive. So I'm just applying that using a dabbing, tapping motion across my face. Trying to make sure everything is covered and, you know, I look more ghostly. <laughs> because as a pale woman who tans very little, You know, you gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back in, play a little bit more on the spots that I feel like just need a little bit extra coverage. And this is a really great buildable foundation. I like to do a very light, medium coverage. Um, I like that it has hyaluronic acid in it and that it just like blends really well. Don't forget to touch up your chin and draw it down. Your neckline. All right, so we have that basic foundation on. Um, it's fall and it's getting cold, so I don't feel the need. Um, I have dry skin, so I don't feel the need to put powder on. If you do not have dry skin, uh, obviously powder it up. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with Coastal Scents 120 palette number one. I'm going to take off the top layer of colors because we're not really going to be using those. We're going for the dark shades. This comes in a really nice little carrying case that uh, lists the ingredients on the back. I'll be using the Marvel BH Cosmetics brushes today. Uh, we're gonna start with the brush number. It's faded off. I'm gonna say it's a two. It's a flat brush. And we're just gonna take this brown shade to start all over the eyelid. If you're a horror fan like me, then you know that the first it was actually terrifying. This is not a film for children. Um, it's a film based off a Stephen King novel about a killer clown and some supernatural elements. I've actually never read the book, but I hear it's really good from my friends who said, oh, one of my favorite um, productions um, of Stephen King's is The Stand, but it's a super long book. So since we have that first layer down, we're going to go in with this brown shade and just apply it to the crease and then work our way. And I'm lazy and I'm using the same exact brush as before. Um, keeping in mind that I'm not sharing my makeup products with other people. <laughs> now, I'm going to be using some of the red colors today because I really want to like 
get that feeling out Pennywise without going overboard and looking co costumey or cartoony. Um, I've only done red eyeshadow a few times, and it can certainly be a challenge. shade of red no, no there <laughs> the shade of red right here to really um, get that red scars markings the clown marking that has on his face but we're going to be playing in an entirely different way because you know don't want to look like a weirdo going to a Halloween movie a horror movie and scaring everyone in the general public. If that red is all dead, <laughs> um, check out one of my other palettes. I'm running, running it under the waterline. Almost like if I was in a My Chemical Romance music video. The last time we never had eyeshadow, I was heading across the border to a fan expo in Vancouver, Canada, which was a very fun convention, but the border police was like, why the fuck are you wearing a ton of makeup? <laughs> and I had to explain to him, well, sir, I'm a weirdo, and I go to conventions. I'm a geek. And he was like, hmm, okay. So I'm going to go back in with the BH Take Me to Brazil palette again. This one is highly pigmented. I really like it. Um, I'm using the third, this one. It's like a red-orange shade. And you know, really just trying to create some nice pigment. And then we're going to apply the fourth shade, which is this glitter. And that's going to just be on the outer corners. It's not really picking up too much. For a little bit of contour, I want to go in with Coastal Suns in a light brown again. Just apply that the ear. And through the eyes. And then I'm for me I like to just like smudge it with my fingers. Find that it's the easiest way. And then on my nose, just to give my nose a little bit of definition. Nose, chin. And that's that. We're going to now go in with another red, red orange tone, and just like blend it. Okay, almost like a red smoky eye. And 
Now, if I had a red lip liner, I would definitely be applying that. But I don't. So, what am I going to do? I do, however, have Cloudy Velvet by Peri Peria. So, we're going to take this out. We're going to try something. Lip liner brush. Applying it all over. And Applying it as an eyeliner. I think that looks pretty good. super creamy, so it's pretty forgiving. Just a little bit more. Just to set that, grab a red shade. I'm going back in with the BH one and just tapping it on to create like a really simple yeah barrier in case I wind up rubbing my eyes because this movie is going to be three hours long or two hours and 15 minutes plus like 30 minutes of sitting there watching the pre-previews and then <laughs> another 15 minutes watching you know trailers it's going to be a long night <laughs> I'm feeling pretty spooky Just to finish up, because I'm going out for sushi. Um, just a very light leftover from the for the lips, so that I look less dead. I mean, we're all dead here. We all float. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be using. These false eyelashes, they're from Daiso. That's all you need now. You do not need to spend a ton of money on eyelashes because, you know, it does make sense. Um, they are fake. There's no ink or anything. I'm also going in with a black liner, the lollipop liner. Um, just so that there's some extra definition. Ah, I fucked up. I messed up. Don't be like me.
like I had an eyelash curler, this is when I would do that. But I don't. So using Duo 2 in 1 latex free eyelash adhesive in the clear shade. We will be applying our lashes. So let me know what your favorite horror movie is in the comments. Um, for me, it is Aliens, which is Alien 2, the sequel, and Halloween, the original. I love badass women in horror and sci-fi, so you might see a lot of that in this channel coming up, where I just maybe recreate very sci-fi stuff. Let me know if that's of interest to you. If it is, awesome, because I would love to hear that side of my nerdy self. Halloween time is a really fun time of year for me uh, because I'm an October baby. I love pumpkin patches, um, core mazes, haunted houses, you know, anything and everything that's spooky, I'm there. But if I were a character in a horror film, I would definitely be the white girl who dies. <laughs> Also, in bad horror movies, I really like House of Wax. God, it's so bad, but so great. Paris Hilton, you are an icon. One of the movies that really freaked me out, uh, Rest Stop. I watched that in the daytime, and it scared the bejeebies out of me. As always, when putting on flash lashes, you want to wait 10 seconds for it to get tick, tacky, sticky, tacky, so that it will adhere better. A lot of people consider this applying the bedroom eye line eye style, so we're just going to pause that for a minute. Okay, now we have our lashes on, so we're just going to finish it off with... Lonnie London Lash Mash Lash Goals Mascara. Apply to both the bottoms and top lids. The wand on this is a little strange, so I'm not sure how much I like it for bottom lashes. But the formula is nice, at least. This will help really keep your lashes to your fake lashes connected if you apply your mascara last. It's not essential, but it really helps. Okay, so just a little bit more mascara. As you can see, it kind of clumped over here. Oh well. Finalized steps. Pull down the hair. I need to do a tuck back. I'm going to do a bit of a braid. He has his hair back, you know, but he has like gorgeous ginger shade. And I'm really excited to learn um, how they incorporate the styles of the adults this, in this film. Let me know what you think of the movie. 
Did you like it? Did you hate it? As always, leave a comment, follow, su subscribe to my channel. Um, likes are appreciated. Let me know what you want to see more um, as I grow and you know, create more awesome music. Music. Create more awesome makeup videos. <laughs>